So today I'm going to show you how to make a snap fastening sunglasses case. I've got two different methods. I've got the flex frame and I've got the tape measure. I'm going to do one with just two fabrics and one with quilted fabric. First I'm going to show you how to do the crazy patchwork panels and then I'll show you how to make the case and then how to insert the different closures. So my plan for my first case is to do some scrap fabric quilting on some wadding. I've cut some pieces that are five and a half inches by ten inches, two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. I'm going to do the top of the case uh, for the snap fastening with a plain fabric and then I'm going to quilt the rest of the case with some pieces I got from a quilting roll, is that what you call them? A roll of fabric you get for quilting. I'm not a quilter, so forgive me for that. So I'm going to start with the centre. It's a good place to start. And I'm just going to build up some pieces. Just putting on some. Obviously, each side could be different or similar. Um, what next? As you can see, thinking and making up as I go. So originally I thought I'd do some bluey colours and some paley colours and blues round, but actually I think I'm going to mix them in a bit more than I originally planned. So you're going to sew down your pieces with a very small seam allowance and then open them out and press them. Give them a press and then sew another piece on. So I'm just going to trim that bit there and here. And open it out. Really, I'm making this up as I go. So I've sewn that on. Now I'm going to sew on a block here. 
I'll go diagonally across with another piece. So you sew that on. So I want to put a panel across here now with two different fabrics. So I'm going to join them together first and then attach them like that. I've done the same um, on this side. I've used a couple of pieces to create a sort of square that I'll attach on here. So you get much neater results um, if you iron. So I'm going to iron them before I attach them. And I'm probably going to attach a square of blue as well to go to create a little panel the same length as that to sew on. I think I'm going to do that. Decision made. So that's one panel made on one side of the bag and I'm going to make the second panel now. So now I've got my quilted panels, I'm going to trim them down so that they're the right size for the external part of the glasses case. This one is going to be this size. Because I've quilted a larger area than required, I can play with part of the quilted fabric I want showcased. So I've got to allow my seam allowance. So I'm going to allow half an inch seam allowance. So I need. Let's turn it over and do it that way. Is that going to give me half an inch? No. So this is four and a half inches wide. Do I want it? So I've got to include my seam allowance. Half an inch. I'm going to go for this length, which is eight inches, four and a half by eight inches. There's my two trimmed panels. I've got my two external pieces of fabric, two lining pieces of fabric and four pieces for casing for the snap closure. So these are eight by four and a half inches, these two, and this is four by four and a half inches. The first thing we're going to do is make the casing. So set those aside. So these have been lined with fusible fleece, as has the external fabric, just for reference. Just to provide a little bit of padding and protection for your sunglasses. So place your two casing panels facing each other. And then we're going to stitch with a just over half an inch seam allowance. Let's trim the seam allowance. And then turn right side out. 
and uh, give it a really good press. So fold your tube of fabric in half and give it a good press. Place them on the top panel of your glasses case. The top of your external fabric, centrally. And then baste that into place within your seam allowance of a quarter of an inch. Next, we're going to place our lining fabric on top, so the right sides of the two fabrics are facing each other. And we're going to hold that in place, clips and stitch the seam allowance of a quarter of an inch. You might find a hump jig particularly helpful when it gets to the edges of your seams in relation to the casing. It makes a big difference for your sewing machine going over the edge. So now we're going to open our two fabrics out and we're going to place them so that our casings align along this seam. Hold it with clips. So I'm going to stitch this from the bottom of the lining an inch in along. You might even need your gadget here because it's going to be bulky and tricky or a zipper foot to get past this bulk of the seam. I think a zipper foot would be particularly useful actually. Long across the bottom of your external fabric, back down and along back to here. The important thing, leaving a turning gap here. I've stitched round, leaving me turning gap here. I haven't got the particularly straight edges at the top because of the bulk of the fusible fleece. I could have done my casing without fusible fleece and that would have been a much easier to sew. So I've just trim the corners of the bag case. If your machine really struggles you could just hand back stitch along these edges here. So now I've got to turn it right sides out. A little fiddly but worth it. I'm just going to push those corners out at the bottom. Right, I'm just going to give that a good press. And then we're going to turn in our turning gap here and finish that raw edge. So I've given it a good press and I've turned in my raw edges. I'm just going to top stitch that to shut it. Closed. And then we're going to turn the bag, put the lining inside the case. So we're at the final point. I've shown you how to make the outer fabric out of crazy patchwork and I've shown you how to sew the case together. So now let me show you the two different types of closures for the glasses case. One with the flex frame and one with metal 
tape. First the flex frame. So we're going to insert the snap closure. in between the two layers, two casing panels. And hopefully, there we go. So now we need to get those edges lined right up so we can insert the bar. Insert the pin. Fold over those edges you've got on the ends. One snap. Fastening. So how about the other method? I've got an old tape measure here and a pair of kitchen scissors. I don't want to blunt my fabric scissors. So I cut. Bit of tape, metal tape, to the right side of the facing, and I'll just trim the edges and do a second piece. So you've got two bits of tape, metal tape. We're just going to put a little bit of masking tape or uh, washi just over these edges here. just so there aren't any sharp edges that anyone can hurt themselves on. Do that for both sides. And then we're going to insert them inside our casing. Like so. And then to get it to um, open and close like that, we're just going to hand stitch. I don't want to do that. Tape chain. I'm going to blanket stitch, not blanket stitch, not a stitch, close these edges and then you'll have a lovely opening and closing. That's his case. In hindsight, I would probably not use fusible fleece on the casing panels, I would probably just use interfacing because it's added quite a lot of thickness to the fabric. A little bulk we don't actually need. So I'm just going all the way through all my layers. So there we have it two glasses cases, one with a metal tape measure and one with a snap fastening. This one feels a little bit more robust and stronger, to be honest, um, and two different types of finishes. And as I say, I think in future I wouldn't use fusible fleece on casings and that would help get a closer edge here as well. It would be easier for the same machine to cope. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, please click like and subscribe below for future videos. Thanks for watching.